stored or recorded in some format. That is what data is. So data is nothing but the raw facts or the raw data that can be recorded in some format. That, that, that's all what data is. The, there are examples or like the, the textual data the, that what you uh, record in your ledger books or sometimes and then the numerical data um, for your numerical calculations or doing some kind of uh, numerical analysis. So there are uh, other kinds of data such as voice and images and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So that is what data is. Information is nothing but it is the processed form of the data. Okay, you're, you're going to extract some kind of a meaning out of this raw data. That is what information is all about. Okay, so the information can be something like, uh, okay, take, take for example, okay, uh, what would the journalist do? Journalists collect the data from the uh, scene might be happened at some place, okay. They might collect some data, they, can, they might collect some photographs, and they might also write a report on that particular uh, particular uh, news article so that becomes a news article news article is a processed information that you're getting okay and the blog post as well blog posts are also uh, contain some kind of a meaning okay you, you will you, whenever you read a blog post or news article you will know what uh, it is conveying what the author or the author of the blog post or the news article is trying to convey and also the playlists and uh, playlists of a music uh, you have condensed it according to a genre. So that, that what is the playlist, right? So those are the examples, few examples of information. And let us see what is the difference between uh, data and information. Okay. So this is what uh, um, in the difference, major difference between data and information is. Data is nothing but this is the raw. If you consider this as the raw data and we are going to process that data and we will get some kind of a meaningful information out of it. So a good analogy can be something like this. Okay, let us assume you want to cook pasta. Okay, pasta is the outcome that you need. Okay, so pasta can be considered as an information that we need. And the ingredients to cook pasta can be the raw data. So that is one, one analogy I could come up with. So that is the major difference between uh, data, and data and information. Okay. Sometimes uh, the definition between these uh, terms can be, between, uh, there will be thin line between these definitions. Okay. Sometimes you might also consider pasta as an in information. Uh, it, it depends on the context that you use. Okay. So as of now, if you consider pasta as an in information, the raw data, uh, can be considered, uh, the ingredients can be considered as the raw data. Okay. So hope you all have got the difference between uh, data and information. Can you please press S or no now? I'm going to take a poll. If you still have any doubts, please revert back. Okay, cool. Okay. I see no one, no, okay, Shreyas Rao. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Shreyas, so what is the doubt that you have? Can I know what, what, what is bothering you? Like, uh, you didn't get what uh, information and data is. Okay, okay. So everyone uh, has got the dif major difference between data and information. Right? So let's move on, okay. What is the importance of data? So uh, data is like everywhere, okay. Everywhere, everywhere, all around us, data is everywhere. Without data, we cannot do almost, almost uh, no things, right? So there can be no research done. The research, every other research, almost every other research depends on the data, okay? You have to, first you need to collect the data and then you need to go through it and then do some analysis and then you come up with some kind of a research output, that research outcome that you want. And then you, your Flipkart or your Amazon cannot deliver your, the products that you need. And also your local vendors as well, they also maintain some kind of a data and there may, might be some kind of a ledger or something. 
so how many products they have got from their uh, uh, dealers and how many products they are going to sell to the retailers i mean i mean uh, to the consumers and also uh, the colleges cannot run without the data also so though that 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 is the importance of data okay and nowadays it's like people are uh, like running around data and they, there's the buzzword like data science and data analysis data analyst and all those things so that is why it is Hey Varun, just a minute. Um, can you make that full screen because it is looking a bit odd. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. now that's now? Good, yes. Yeah, that's okay, fine. Okay. So yes. Uh, okay. Now let's get into what what does database mean? Okay. Database is nothing but the collection of the data. Collection of related data is known as the databases. So, for example, you can take like data about students, data about employees, data about many other things like crops and bank accounts and everything. Uh, even your social media accounts, everything is data, right? So that is what data is. So uh, to depict the databases, you can see uh, here in the picture, we are the end users, right? We use some kind of application to interact with the database. This, oh, so database will be stored in some, in somewhere in the remote server, and we will use some kind of an application to interact with the database. And at the at the client side, we also have a DBMS server. DBMS is nothing but a, it's a software that interacts with the database. That is what it is. So, for example, you have already used many of the. Um, Client server architectures, this this databases. For example, a uh, few weeks ago you started using GitHub, right? GitHub is nothing but a repository of uh, source code, right? So th that is nothing but it it it, it uh, acts like a database, and Git is the tool tool to access the database, right? So that is one analogy that we can give for the databases. So what are the types of databases? Databases can be generally categorized into majorly two uh, things, that is decentralized and centralized. Centralized in the sense a uh, database will be stored somewhere only in the one location, somewhere remotely in only one location. That is known as centralized server. For example, uh, for centralized servers, uh, we can give examples like your uh, college library. College library might have only one centralized server for your old college. Without, if it that goes down, everything goes down. Your uh, college uh, college libraries cannot work without the centralized library of the thing. And then decentralized libraries. Decentralized is something like uh, it will be like at many places, not multiple places. For example, uh, to give an example of that would be something like Netflix. Netflix as uh, Netflix has multiple data centers across all over the world. Okay. Netflix. Uh, if 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 you are if I am accessing Netflix from Bangalore, it will be accessed through somewhere nearby our location. The server will be located somewhere nearby Bangalore itself. So that is how Netflix can easily access and it can easily serve the same TV show across all over the world at uh, simultaneously. So that is the power of centralized and uh, decentralized. I mean, decentralized or distributed or one and the same. Okay. So there are the types of databases. Okay, they they are like um, relational databases, non-relational databases, and hierarchical cloud databases, and there are many, many more. Uh, what do you mean by relational databases? Relational, you might have already come across this in your uh, DBMS uh, subject, but uh, let me just refresh these things for you now. And those of you who haven't come across these. Uh, Concepts will definitely come up in our in your upcoming sessions, upcoming uh, semesters. So relational databases stores the data in the form of rows and columns. Think of it like a spreadsheet. Okay, it it it, it is like a spreadsheet. So where you have the columns, okay, you have multiple columns A, B, C, D, and everything. You will name those columns, right? You will give a name to each and every column, and you will keep on adding the rows. Rows are nothing but the records in your uh, in relational databases. Rows are called as records or tuples. Okay, and the other one is the 
non relational databases non relational databases or unstructured uh, or complex data it can store unstructured or complex data one example to give uh, for non relational databases is um your instagram post okay if you take instagram post if you are going to upload an instagram post you will have the picture of the post that you are posting and then you have a caption for it and then you will also uh, give some hashtags for it and then comes the comments right so those are all like unstructured data picture is one kind of a data and then your caption is uh, some uh, textual data and then your hashtags is some kind of a another data type and then your comments is uh, some other kind of a data and that that comments can be like lengthy or small it has some limitations but also it, those are the different kinds of data and it is unstructured right so those kind of data can be stored using non relational databases okay and uh, next comes that hierarchical database uh, hierarchical database for to give an example it looks like a tree right okay it will have a parent branch and then then comes another uh, two or three or branch multiple branches inside it and then it goes like a tree structure okay so that is hierarchical databases and cloud databases are nothing but your aws google cloud uh, digital ocean all those uh, all those uh, companies give some kind of a cloud storage structure where you will be given the store storage space as well so it might be your relational databases it might be your non relational databases inside the cloud databases itself so that is uh, one of the types of databases so next comes what is dbms dbms is nothing but application the software that you use to manage and store the data in the database okay so uh, if you see here databases plus dbms forms the database systems so you just saw here right so this is the database this is the dbms this dbms is used to access the database the data from the database okay uh i hope everyone was uh, able to understand right whatever i have uh, told till now is there anyone have uh, okay okay i will I'll go through what is cloud database cloud database is nothing but it 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 is uh, it is a form of storage system that will be provided on the cloud cloud is nothing but um, it it is a remote server okay for example you take your github itself github is a place uh, github is a place where you store the source code right it is somewhere in, in somewhere in the remote somewhere in the remote right so to access that you will need the github and git tool similarly to access the databases inside the cloud databases there will be other databases such as relational databases or non relational databases like mysql the examples for relational databases is mysql and postgresql and many other uh, relational uh, data dbmss okay so those will be stored inside this cloud databases so uh, amazon uh, aws amazon gives that kind of a privilege for you to store the databases and then google cloud as well and all other things so it's a bit uh, abstract for you to understand but you will get understand it later okay i hope you uh, got it hemank okay so let's move on so what are the drawbacks of the, the traditional data storage methods okay the traditional data storage methods can be something like you will be using uh, your excel sheets or your spreadsheets to store the data right so the problems with that is you cannot store like large amounts of data uh, large amounts it is not at all feasible to store large amounts of data and then you will also uh, get data redundancy data redundancy is nothing but the data will be the same data will be stored at, might might be stored at multiple locations so there is there is uh, there is i think there is no way to uh, you can there is no way you can actually uh, avoid that some other at some point you will get redundant data you will have 
the same data will uh, will be stored at multiple locations or at uh, multiple spreadsheets or multiple rows in the column it might be something like that and due to data redundancy you will have inconsistent data okay if assume that you have uh, the same data in the row 10 and you have the same data in row 15 okay so uh, if you change it if you change the update the data if you want to update the data at the row 10 you might also have to update the data at the row 10 or at, at mean if you take it as a different sp spreadsheet you might also have to update there there as there as well so that is one major problem in uh, using spreadsheets or uh, your traditional ledger method. So, and it is not feasible to interact with other application. Take for example, if you want to take this data and interact with some other application, okay, you have, you're going to build some application. Uh, it is not feasible to every time you have to create some kind of a um, query and then we have to write an up, uh, script or a program to uh, interact with the database in the spreadsheet. So that is not actually feasible. Okay, instead, what you can use is uh, the these DBMSs, that is the uh, database management systems. Those are like there are there are like uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Okay, what are the pros and cons of databases? Okay, we'll look into what what is SQL. SQL is structured query language. Okay, the, it is. Uh, type of relational database Re relational database comes inside sql okay so um, it is a language used to interact with relational data so there are uh, multiple sql applications the one is uh, one we widely used is mysql postgresql oracle oracle db my etc etc et et so there is another form of uh, um, databases that is no SQL, right? We just uh, spoke about it. That is non-relational or no SQL databases, which can store unstructured data. So just like how I told you, uh, gave an example of Instagram post, that is what no SQL databases are. Okay. So I think uh, there are different types of no SQL databases. Uh, one is like document oriented databases and then key value storage databases, graph databases, these are the types of NoSQL databases. Okay, so uh, document-oriented databases will have JSON-like structure. It, it will be like something like. Uh, uh, let me just show you some example of it. Just a minute, I'll show you how uh, JSON looks. Okay, um, this is how JSON looks. Okay. Hey Varun, we are not able to see the screen. Did ah. you stop the screen sharing? Just, just a minute. Okay, uh, here you can see, right? This is the JSON format. Can you zoom in to it? We are not able to. Yes, just a minute. Okay. Okay, uh, here you see the JSON format. This is known as JSON format. JSON is nothing but uh, JavaScript object not notation. Okay, it will have uh, an object here and it will have its uh, it will have its value to be stored in here this is like something like a document storage structure okay, this is um, the json format and then you will uh, you have key value storages that is nothing but uh, you have come across dictionaries right in python last um, last but last sec in the last session you have come across dictionaries it contains key value pairs right so Similarly, that is how uh, the key value storage databases work. And then comes the graph databases. 
graph databases is nothing but it, it, it is a form of a graph okay you will have a node you will have uh, uh, multiple nodes and you will have edges connected across the nodes so that is how uh, graph databases looks like and then white column stores is nothing but it is similar to the uh, relational databases but um, it doesn't contain the rows it only contains the columns which are large enough okay so all the data will be stored in the only the columns so that was a brief uh, session about uh, introduction to inter uh, databases uh, hope all have got uh, whatever i spoke around is there anyone who has who has any doubt in this if okay mm -hmm. We'll, we'll look into uh, SQL, okay? We'll, we'll, we're going to do an hands-on session on uh, SQL. That is, we will uh, look how to use Python and there is something called as SQLite. That is the lighted version of SQL. And yes, yes. Yes, MongoDB is a no SQL language. It, it is a form of a document-oriented uh, database. So yes, it is a no, type of a no SQL. MongoDB is the application that uh, is used for no SQL languages. Okay, uh, I hope everyone have understood that. If you have any doubts, please get back to us later. And then we will, uh, let's now uh, dive into an hands on session of uh, using um, SQL, okay? We'll be, you uh, just a minute. Okay. Ah. So, We'll use something called as SQLite. SQLite is a lightweight version of the SQL. Okay. MySQL is the is application, uh, full fledged application of uh, SQL. We will be using SQLite. Okay. So let us create a directory. Uh, please, everyone, uh, do it along with me. I want everyone to do it. So let us create a directory where we can store the files okay so i'll be creating the uh, a directory named databases so i'm going to uh, cd into it databases if you're not able to see this right see this screen uh, anyone say yes or no no can you just share uh, yeah 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 now we are able Yes, yes, okay. Why don't you can just share the terminal yes, so yes. that I know, I know. Uh, oh. so that when you can switch back, you won't have any problems. Got it, got it. Uh, everyone, please create a directory and uh, cd into it. Okay, just a minute. So, Varun, we are still not able to see this. Uh, just a minute, Panta, just a moment. There's some permissions that have blocked. I'm sorry about that. Just a minute. Here we go. So you can all see this, right? You can all see the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hope you all have created the directory and cd it into it. Uh, so let's now create a Python file. Through the Python file, we are going to create the database and interact with the database, okay? To create a, a Python file, uh, you just have to use some editor like Vim that we have already uh, given a session on. Vim, and then uh, let's let's create uh, an employee um, 
option okay so use them and uh, the file name file name with the extension of dot py dot py creates the uh, python file okay so to interact with the database and create a database we have to import something called as sqlite okay sqlite 3 uh, last time Akhilesh uh, showed you people, right? How to interact, uh, how to use the modules, how to import the modules and how to write the functions, right? We'll do all of those uh, now and we'll interact with the database. First of all, you need to import the SQLite. SQLite 3 is the, um, is, the, uh, is the DBMS that you're going to import. So you want to import that and then you will uh, start creating the connection okay and then let us create connection to create a connection you just have to write sq uh, sqlite 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 3 dot connect and then you should give the database name this is different from what you created right now this file is going to be created okay this file contains all the database that you're going to create now and then the data you're going to put into it okay so this is nothing but a connection object we are using we are importing sqlite 3 and then you we are using that sqlite 3 library inside that we are using the connect method to connect to the particular database this is the database okay employee.db is the database even if you don't have the file it will be created um, this database file will be created and we are passing this to an object known as the connection object okay so we we, we have created a connection and then we have to uh, okay let us also put comments here connect to the Data, database employee okay so this is how you use comments now let us uh, create a something known as uh, you have to create a cursor object cursor object is nothing but uh, it acts like add okay it acts like add so let me just show you how to do it create a cursor object cursor object Cursor object that um, executes okay, SQL statements. This this cursor object is used to uh, execute the SQL statements. Okay, so C equal uh, con dot con is again we are using this connection object and then we are um, using the cursor function. Cursor function is used to create the cursor object okay so one dot cursor and then okay this let me just show you hope you all are doing with along with me right okay see so now we are going to use this c object to execute a uh, execute an ex sql statement execute is the is another uh, now uh, method or function that is used to create that is used to execute statement sql statements okay so there is one more uh, use case for uh, doc strings okay so doc strings can be used to uh, write statements or uh, python statements in multiple lines okay you have just she just seen how you can use doc strings to create the documentation of a particular uh, definition or anything for a python file right so we'll be using this and then we are going to use the sql statements now okay these are the sql statements create is used to create the a table or you can use it use the create statement to uh, create the database create table the create table creates a table okay and then we have to give the table name so this this statement creates a table in the sql uh, in sqlite okay so now 
we need to pass the what are the data fields that contains okay so let us uh, give like first name first name is of uh, the type text and here, here also as well in uh, sqlite or sql you will have uh, data the data types okay you have like a text text data type and then you have integer data type and then you have uh, boolean and all those things okay we we are assigning the first name as the data type text so next next let us create last name and then we will create a, uh, another data another data field this is all these are all the columns or the data fields inside the table so I'm going to create salary and it will be of the type integer. Okay. And then now we need to close this. So this is this uh, parenthesis. This is the SQL statements closing uh, doc string. And then you have to close the this uh, particular parenthesis of the SQL, uh, sorry, execute uh, method. So this whole thing, this uh, connection creates the connection to the database employee.d. Okay, this thing creates a connection, uh, sorry, cursor object for for this connection. Okay, now C dot execute executes the SQL statements. So that is what it does. So let us just save it. To save in Vim, you just have to uh, press the colon and then W. It just saves. Okay. Uh, now we will see if it has if it has been con uh, connected or and it has also been created the table or not. To do that, we just uh, will create a will will we'll open up another split screen inside them. So it's like something like the at term. It opens up a new uh, terminal inside it, and then it, it it opens up in the same directory. Okay. So if you just do ls, we just we, we had just created the empty uh, directory, right? Inside that we had created the a Python file where we have written all these code, right? To create the database and then create the table. So now we have to run this Python file. Ah, uh, before that we have to do one more thing. Uh, we will come over here and then we have to connect uh, commit the changes. Okay. Just like how you do it in uh, GitHub using Git, you after you uh, add the Git files, you have to commit, right? So some you have to do something like uh, that here itself. Here also, okay. Git uh, sorry, con dot commit commits the all these transactions. These are known as SQL transaction. If you are creating something, if you are updating, if you are modifying the database uh, data in the database in uh, SQL or uh, databases. You, it is known as transactions okay those transactions has to be committed and then it the connection has to be closed this connection if you don't close and if you don't commit it won't be saved at all this won't be created and the uh, this database file won't be created so now you just have to close the connection if you don't close it it might uh, there might be some error there. you might get some errors okay so now we'll come over here and then we will execute this Python file. That is employee. This is the file, right? We just uh, wrote all the code in. Okay. If it doesn't give out any errors, then it means that it has already been created. So everyone were able to do that, right? Is there anyone who got stuck somewhere? If there is anyone, please say yes or no before moving on. So that is how you create the database and then you create the table inside the database. Yes, my issue. Have to move to the another panel. Okay. I'm sorry. So let me exit this. 
if you just uh, do something like term or something terminal it opens up a terminal about your uh, uh, web editor okay uh, if you want to open it in the left or the in the vertical side you just have to use v at something like term or something there are there are different types of uh, commands that can be used here to open it on the left on the right on the bottom or the up so we'll just use v at term to open it on the left in the vertical section if you do this you will be will go get a terminal and then you just do ls you will get all the files that have been saved in this directory current directory that you're working okay okay uh, apart from that is there any other doubt in databases i mean how to create a database in the tables if not we can move okay okay so okay we just uh, executed it now you can see uh, the employee.db file is created so how how did we even create it so we just use the sql3 sqlite3 and then we uh, use the connection object to create the uh, connector with this database if even if there is no file called as employee.db it creates the file and if it already exists it might uh, it might it will not overwrite since we are uh, doing this it it will uh, it will show up some errors and then and then we are we are using the cursor object to point to the uh, point to where we are executing the um, executing the sql statements and then we are committing the changes and then we are closing the action that is what we do and here uh, let us see if the table has been uh, created or not if you just use sqlite 3 command and then click enter you will be open you will get this uh, interactive uh, database uh, thing so now it says sqlite everyone have got this right so to open the database file uh, we have to use like op dot open file name okay so dot open employee db is the file name of the uh, database that we just created employee employee.db okay it, now if you uh, run dot databases it will show up all the database that has been created so here is the database that we created right now okay now if we uh, use dot tables it will show up all the tables that has been stored in this database okay we just now created this table let us see if this table has been created or not if you just see the employees table is created this is the employees table that we created in here okay if you have to see the the structure of this table what you have to do is you have to do dot schema and then table name sorry the table name is employees right so here you go so this is the table that we have created with all these data fields though the data first data field is first name of the type text second is last name salary and so on so that is how you uh, use this sqlite um, okay so you to quit out of it you just have to write dot quit it quits out of database and then you have to exit it you can exit or you can just follow on not a problem so to jump back into this, you just have to press Control W W twice. So we'll come to this uh, split screen. So now let's just let's insert some data into it. Okay. So everyone have uh, got everyone have understood how to use SQLite, right? SQLite this command line terminal. Is there anyone who hasn't uh, followed until now? The session. Uh, let me let me just put, put up a poll. Okay, I'm getting an indentation error. Okay, I think you have uh, put an indent before con, so that is why you are not able to execute it. So if you just go over here, this should not be indented. Okay, if it is indented like this, 
it won't work because in python it, it indentation means a block it creates a block out of this okay so you can see it um so if you're using if statement or something you will create uh, these uh, curly braces use curly braces to create the block right you can write anywhere here you can you can write a condition here and then you can write the statements inside the block right so in python it's not like that it it, it uh, indentation means it, it creates a block of its own so this will be a block of its own so you uh, cannot do like that so before this there is no other statements that uh, needs indentation so you don't need indentation over there you might have uh, okay shasha it's cool okay let us uh, now insert some statements uh, insert some data into it okay so we have created the um, employees table, right? That is, sorry. let us use the same cursor object to insert some things. Okay. So here we used uh, triple quotes, right? Triple uh, three double quotes, right? So we'll be using only uh, double quotes here. If you are to use uh, statements in multiple lines, we you you need to use these triple quotes if not if you are using you can write it in one single line you can just use uh, double quotes only one double quotes or something so to insert you will use the insert statement insert statement of um, the sql okay. insert into insert into we, we are writing these is the, these in caps because it's a convention to write uh, sql statements in in uh, capital letters because it, it differentiates between these things okay if you're using some other uh, things like uh, something else you, it will be you can easily differentiate okay so insert into is the sql statement that you need to use to insert the data into insert employee insert into employees and then values okay you need to pass the values you need to pass the values and okay. um, let us pass the value the first data field is a uh, first name right so let us pass something like let us pass something like EJ and then morley the uh, morley is the last name which is the first name and then the salary. Salary is an integer, right? You don't have to uh, include it in quotes, in, in single quotes. Integer is uh, integer is a data type. And then if you pass it in inside this uh, single quotes, it will be treated as a string, okay? So string is nothing but text one. So you should not be doing that. Let's say something like 45,000. So, okay. Uh, we have written this statement if you save it and if you come over here uh, how many people say that okay this works okay if if it uh, how many people say that if this uh, will be added to the database i'm restarting uh, so no poll please click on so no So there's three, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see only seven, eight. I'm out to go. Come on, be quicker, guys. We still have a lot to do. That's okay, even if you're wrong, not a problem. Okay, okay. Okay, a uh, few more people, please make it quick. Why those who have uh, said no, why do you think it doesn't work? You can use the public chat to put, uh, put up your uh, arguments over there and say why it doesn't work. Why this, this command doesn't work. Even if we have written it and I think it's a proper SQL statement. Why doesn't it work? 
someone please uh can i know those who have said no why it doesn't work Okay. Uh, those who have said no, or can you please tell me why it doesn't work? I can guess why it might not work. Why this code might not work? Let me just exit this. And I think we will be able to see this. Everyone are uh, doing along with me, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Employee, I can get you Akash. What do you mean by employee? We are using employees as the table name, and then we are using employee DB as the database name. There's no way it will be conflicting. And also, already the table has been created. So that means this whole thing works and we are also using the correct SQL statement. So let me just show you why it doesn't work. Okay. So let's open up the terminal again. Return. So if you just uh, go back to Python. Okay. So if you just click enter, if you just run this Python file, so it shows the table employees already exist. So here you can see uh, we are also passing these statements along with this statement, along with in, in, uh, insert statement. So this has already, this table has already been created. So when you run this Python file, it uh, compiles the old thing, right? So it starts from here and then it uh, goes step by step. It, it is an interpreter, so it goes step by step and then it uh, executes this one. And then it, it uh, already sees that we already have an employee.db inside that we already saw that there is a table named as uh, employees table that has been already been that has already been created so we just have to comment it to okay. just have to comment it out to work with it okay. so to comment it out i'll be using I'll be commenting it out. So if you if you comment this, these statements and then run only this particular statement, now you will not get any errors. So if you just see, see now it doesn't give out any errors at all. So to check if all these uh, things are uh, uh, inserted into the employees table, we will have to use some other thing, no, some other uh, SQL statement known as uh, select statements. Okay, so let's write it out. So just like how we used uh, c.execute, c.execute um, method, we'll use, okay, we'll use it again. We'll use select, select star, star or asterisk, from employees table. We are selecting this particular table and then we are going to web it. So um, now we will pass it into it. Okay. Mm. We'll use something called as dot fetch. C dot fetch. Fetch all. Fetch all. Fetch all. Uh, fetches all the uh, records from this table. Okay. So if you just uh, save this and then go over here and then run this. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's fetch all is actually I'm sorry fetch all is actually a method that is uh, from this SQLite uh, SQLite library. So if you just run this. Now you can see this particular uh, data data that we inserted will be printed over here. 
So this is how you wave the data out of a. There are obviously there are multiple ways to wave uh, the data, and this is how you can use Python to interact with the database, and then you can insert the data into it, and all those things. Okay, so this is one thing. So everyone have got it. Double Q. Sorry. Uh, what do you mean by double Q Q? I'm sorry, uh, Cleo, I didn't get you. Uh, quotes, quotes, what do you mean? Quotes like, where have we used quotes? Yes, yes, this has to be passed inside the double quotes because this is an SQL statement. We are passing it uh, inside the uh, uh, double quotes. Okay? And then we are uh, using the SQL statement select and then dot from. A dot star means, star asterisk means it uh, gets all the all the tuples or the rows from this table. Okay, so we are using again, we are using the same cursor, uh, uh, the cursor object to fetch all, fetch all, fetch, uh, passing it to the fetch all uh, method to be printed it on the screen. Has this been created in local database? Yes, yes, that is why you are getting this, right? That is why you are uh, able to see this, right? So, this is you just can see it over here so that's the reason i printed it out like this okay is there anyone who has any doubts so apart from uh, fetch all there are uh, many other uh, methods so there is something like fetch one I just fetch one only fetches the first record out of the thing because we have only one record. It it doesn't uh, it has only one record. It, so it prints the only one record. You can see here. Okay, actually fetch uh, all creates a list. Here you can see right there are uh, square brackets. Um, this is inside square brackets. Okay, so it returns a list. Fetch all returns a list and then fetch one returns only one uh, only one record and that too it will be in like a, like a tuple so tuple has this uh, parenthesis and uh, list will be inside the square brackets so mayesh uh, did you get it so everyone were able to uh, come until this step, right? Everyone have got this output until this. Is there anyone who have left out? Please uh, click on SO. No? Okay, I will start a poll. Is there anyone who was stuck somewhere? Okay, uh, there are like three, four. Okay, okay, okay. There is only one. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, those 10 people, can you please uh, respond with your uh, issues where you're facing an issue? You're not able to get this. Um, get in empty square brackets as I was in the output. I think you did not uh, execute this table at all, I guess. I mean, you did not create the table at all, I guess. So if the table has not been created, you won't be able to get any, you won't be able to insert any uh, thing, or you might not have inserted this thing at all. So others, what are the problems you're facing? Yes, yeah, Amankit. Ah, excuse me. Ah, Amankit, uh, which version of Python are you using? Did you did you import this? This you did you just uh, use import statement to import the SQL tree? Yes, yes. Uh, then it might, it has to work, right? I think you are uh, using Python 2 to run the command, I guess. You just have to use Python 3 here. 
uh, you might have set uh, in your uh, global systems mm, thing to use it as Python 2. You just have to use Python 3 to execute in Python 3. Only then you will be getting the output. Just check it out. If you use Python 2, I'm, I'm not sure if it works or not. Okay, so even the Python 2 works, but there might be some errors along with in that. So others who have said, um, no, can you please uh, say why you're not getting this uh, until now? If nobody has any problems, we can move on, okay? I, I just saw like 10 people saying that they cannot execute till now. First of all, let me just come from the beginning, okay? Um, just clear it, and then if we do LS, I'm going to remove this employee table. Everyone, please pay attention, and then uh, I'll go by step by step how to do this. We will just click RM. This uh, employee DB will be deleted. So here you come. You just have. You just need to um, uncomment these things. Okay. Then comment this out. So, so there is one other trick, okay, you can do, okay. So instead of uh, writing it to the database, we will come, come to that later. First of all, the first thing is to create the database and then create the table. This is only these statements should be executed at the first, okay. And then you have to uh, close the, commit the changes and then you have to close the connection. So make sure you have only these statements, okay. All these will won't be executed. Uh, Make sure you have uh, written this properly, like con SQL, you have connected it properly, and then you have uh, created, and then you have created this uh, cursor object, and then we have uh, written out the create table statement. Okay, I will write some comments over here. So, so creates a table named employees uh, data fields. What are the data fields that I'm using? data fields are the first name last name and then sorry you can you can also write it uh, in the doc strings if you want doc strings is actually used for uh, inside the, the uh, functions function definitions so okay now come over here and then okay let me just show you how to do it you just have to write python and then this file name, this this file name is Python uh, employee dot uh, right? So if you don't get any output, I mean like if you don't get any error, it will uh, again print the get this get back to this uh, prompt screen. And then if you come over here, you just have to comment this out. I'll just do it manually, okay, for you to also do it. You can use uh, you can do it in another method. So if you just comment this out, uncomment this, and then only run this particular statement, the, uh, what is that? Now if you run this file, only this will be inserted. These values will be inserted in this table, okay? So now if you come over here, if you can't com and com and comment it and then and comment these things and if you have written it properly without any uh, errors, syntactical errors and run it. Now you can see the database was created, the database was created and the data has been added into, it, in, into the table employees. If you just do it, LS, you, you can see over here, employee.db. So, okay, okay. Is there anyone who haven't got it? Again, I'm going to start a poll again, okay? Just tell us or no. I don't want anyone to be stuck anywhere. If you have, if you're stuck somewhere, please say what are, your, what are, the, what are the problems you're facing. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. 
uh, those who are saying no, please speak out. Uh, what are the problems that you're facing? Please put it in the chat section so I can address it as soon as possible because we still have to go a lot. I mean, there are like still lots and lots of other concepts like uh, there are primary key and fault key. That is the major concept in uh, relational databases. So please keep up with me as, as quickly as possible. Uh, those who are saying no, please write down your uh, issues that you're facing in the public chat. I will go through it as soon as possible. Quickly as possible, please. And there are also um, statements that are like update statements when you have to update something in the data and then there are delete, delete statements and there are like alter and many, many more things. You just see the some of the basic concepts, okay? So yes, yes, I got one chat, I mean one chat. What is the command to see the values in the table in the SQL? Uh, I'm just not sure about it. Uh, if you're not getting this, you just have to go, go about it. If you if, if you're printing this out, you will you will be able to see it over here itself, right? So that 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 is not a problem, right? Chris, if you don't get this output, that then that means the the data has not been inserted into it. That means you have gone wrong somewhere. And others who have said no, uh, can you please, uh, what are the problems that you're facing? You can also unmute and talk, okay. Because of some time I've had used, uh, yes, yes, yes. I have to go through it, okay. I am not sure like what is the command because SQLite is a lightweight version. Uh, it, it comes with some limitations, okay. It is not a full-fledged database like your MySQL or PostgreSQL where you can just run a command to see everything, to work with everything. So, um, so people, can you please uh, say what are the issues that you're facing? So does that mean I have to move forward? So those who are telling no, they're not able to do it at all. Not even create the database in the table. In that case, shall I move forward? Uh, okay, then I will be moving forward. Okay. So we'll just move forward. And then one more trick I, I can, uh, one more trick is to use the in-memory uh, in memory uh, thing. Instead of writing it to the database, you can use something called as in-memory where you, will, you won't have to comment this out every time, okay? You won't have to comment this out every time. So I'll let you know how this works, okay? I'll show you how this works. So if you just pass the uh, colon memory colon, it actually execute this freshly every time in in your RAM. Okay, even uh, if you have written these comments, if you have these uh, if you have these uh, statements, SQL statements, it will be executed freshly every time. Oh, sorry, sorry about this. So it will execute every time. It won't be saved in the database, in this database at all. Okay. Let me just show you how it works. So I have this uh, creating this uh, database. 
database the uh, database and then we are creating the ta table and then we are executing this statement it will be quick you don't need to comment this out every time okay this is used for testing purposes okay you can use this for testing purposes every time uh, since you have to you need to uh, comment these out or you just have to create another file and then write all these uh, connection commands and then connection close the connection you can use this in memory object to uh, run it inside the inside your ram so every time you run this python file that is employee.py uh, file it creates freshly it creates the table freshly it create, inserts the values into it freshly and it it, it, it uh, selects the table uh, records from the employees table and then prints it up so that is one thing you can do so those of you who are facing any problems uh, creating the database and everything so you can use this colon memory colon so if you pass it it creates freshly even if you if i do it it won't add multiple uh, values at all duplicate values at all okay so we'll use this in memory object to run the next commands okay so let us i'll write a comment over here insert values into the database to the database into the table i'm sorry into the table employees okay then let us add another uh, um, Let us add another record into it. I'm copying this. I'm just pasting it again. I will be adding another value into it. Okay. Let us say like Mike Tyson or something. Mike Tyson has got some <laughs> salary of about seventy thousand something. So like seventy five thousand. Let Let this be like seventy five thousand. If you run it, oh, I'm sorry. I just I'm just fetching only one out of it. We'll just fetch everything. If you do fetch all, if you uh, pass fetch all method over here, now you will be able to see it. Okay, it uh, returns a list of all the records. Okay, we just pass my uh, this Vijay Murli and then Mike Tyson. So. That is how you can pass multiple uh, insert statements. So, okay, and then that is. Okay, now. Okay, um, just a minute. Ah. Uh, now let us move to the next thing okay so we have uh, just uh, used um let us update something let us update the value of uh, uh, vijay Moli to 50000 okay let, let assume that he has an increment so to do that we we'll come over here we'll write the same thing execute and we will pass it into the inside this double code we are select we should first 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 of all to update something we just have to uh, use uh, update right update uh, update okay just a minute just a minute yes 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 update update um, employees employees update employees and then we just have to use set set and set is used to uh, update the particular data field that you you need to update okay so set the salary okay no salary you can just pass like 50000 if you see now you just run this so you can see 
here we are passing 45,000, okay? It has already been added to the table employees. Now we are updating this uh, in in, the, in here, we are updating the salary to 50,000 using this update employees dot set statement, setting the salary to 50,000. So here you can see it has been updated. So that is our use update commands. So let me just add a comment over here. Update the salary, salary of an employee. Okay. So that is our view update. Okay. Everyone have got it? Uh, see, uh, say yes or no, okay. As soon as possible, we quickly move to the next things. So I've even got uh, or understood what update does, right? Okay, okay. So those of you who said no uh, back a few seconds ago have, are able to execute all the commands now? It's okay, tell, uh, you, can, you can just speak out, okay, if you're facing any problems over there. Okay. I got one no from what please uh, you just have to put it over the chat or unmute and talk okay what are the what is the problem that you're facing and be as quick as possible please we don't have time we still have to go about a few other things uh, Pramod you said no uh, can you please tell us what what is the problem that you're facing Yes, Pramod. Oh, okay, 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 Pramod. Okay, then uh, we'll move on to the next. Uh, so this is about update comments, okay? So let us delete some uh, tuples, okay? To delete uh, some lines. Delete, delete the record. So, uh, to delete a record, you just have to use delete command, and we have to use, we have to put a condition. Okay, like condition is for to select that particular uh, record that you want to delete. Okay, c dot execute. The same more time. Then you are just using the delete. Uh, delete, delete. Okay, so you delete some employees. Employees. Where, where, um, where, which we will we'll delete uh, this uh, Mike Tyson. Okay, we'll delete this Mike Tyson. Where the first name, the first name is the is the field name that we have passed in here. So we are using that to uh, set the condition. So where, where is a where is known as a where, where clause is used to um, select a condition. Okay. To we are passing the condition for it to be the first name should be Mike. Okay, we are passing Mike here so that this record will be selected and this will be deleted. Okay, so that's it, I guess. So if you just if you just see now, first it creates the table. Every time we run this Python dot employee file, it Creates freshly, it freshly creates the employees table, and then it, it uh, inserts all these, uh, insert all these uh, records into it, and then it um, sets the um, updates the salary, and then it again deletes it from here. Okay, so that is how uh, you can use this in memory uh, thing, and then you, if you see here, this list has only one record. So the Mike Tyson has been deleted. Okay, you can also check this. You can also verify this if all these has been created or not. So let me just use this again. Just use this again somewhere here. Okay. We will we'll go about how to uh, 
eliminate these repeated things. We have already repeated execute statement. We are, we are also repeating this as well. I'm sorry. Okay. So I've written it once again here. So first of all, as soon as it inserts all the values, it will be printed over here to make sure that it has been inserted. There. Okay. And then again, after it updates and uh, deletes mic, after it updates the salary and deletes the mic record, it will be printed again. So if you just run it. So this is the first statement that we're getting. So you can see here, you can see the same data that we have passed here is inserted with the salary being 45,000 of Murli Vijay and then a salary of Mike Tyson being 75,000. And then if you just see here, we are updating the salary of Murli, uh, setting the salary of Murli to um, 50,000. And then again, we are uh, removing this and go. Okay. I think I have missed something over here. Yes, uh, someone has to say something. Yes, Nikhil Kanta. Do you have anything to say, Nikhil? And one other thing, I think I've missed something. Uh, can you please, uh, can anyone answer what I've missed over here? If you can see these uh, output, you can easily tell I've missed something over here. Okay, let me just show you what, what's happening over here. When I'm updating this, uh, you can see it, okay? It is updating all of the records, okay? If it is updating all of the records. So um, what I have to do is the same way where I've put the, use the where clause here, you just have to use the where clause here as well to update only the Vijay's side. So that is one thing I missed actually. So if you run it again now, you'll be able to see. Uh, just, just, just a minute. Um, what did I miss over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I've used mic. Now it works. So, okay, here you see. So at first it inserts all the values into the table and then it next uh, here it updates, here it updates the value of Vijay salary and then here it deletes the mic record. Okay, now again we are uh, printing it out, fetching the, the records, all the records. You can see only one record is available because we have deleted it and we have also updated the Vijay salary. That's about, I'm sorry. That's about uh, updating records. Is there anyone who's facing an issue? Please say yes or no. If you have any issues, please speak up. Okay, there are like lots of no's. So those who are saying no, please speak out. Uh, what are the problems that you're facing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I will repeat the question again. Uh, those of you, uh, I'm sorry, um, are you facing an issue? If those who are saying yes, please, uh, you can speak out. What are the problems that you're facing? So, Prithvi, Lavanya, and Raghu has a problem. Uh, what is the issue that you're facing, Prithvi, Lavanya, and Raghu? If you just uh, put it in the public chat, I can address those questions as quickly as possible, please.
Yes, Shashank, Prithvi, uh, you're trying to say something. Got it, sir. Okay, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Can we check both name as well as salary while deleting? Um, let me check both name and as well as salary while deleting. Uh, I didn't get you, uh, Prithvi. Like what, what salary and uh, deleting? Can it, be, can it be much more? Uh, so you mean to ask that uh, can we check if it has been updated, if the salary has been updated and this particular uh, record has been deleted or not? Do you mean to ask that, Prithvi? You can, you can just unmute and speak. What will be the output after updating the second time? It is deleting both employees. The second time it is deleting both the employees data. Okay, okay. I think you're not past the, um, Shashank, you're not past the pair clause, I guess. In delete statement, you're not passing, you're not passing uh, this particular, Mm, where clause where it, it it acts like a condition to delete only the mic record the mic's record will be deleted so i think you have not uh, used this where clause that's why you 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 uh, you get getting both of it deleted i guess what will be the output after updating 50000 of mic yes it will be updated you you just saw it right i just uh, forgot to add this where clause here while updating and then you could see it it updates both of it Uh, I hope Shashank and Raghu got the answers. So if that's the case, we can move to the next concept. We can move. Okay, uh, is that all? Um, don't worry about the CD and FZ. If I just uh, quickly went over my keyboard and pressed something, I'm sorry about that. That's, that's something else. Okay, uh -huh. just, that, that is some other command. Okay, some other bash command that I've set. I'm sorry about that. Okay, then we'll we'll move to the next things. Okay, uh, here you can see we are repeating the some statements, right? Okay, we are, uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm sorry. Ah, here you can see I've, uh, I'm repeating these statements, right? Again and again, I've repeated this uh, fetching command again and again. So how do we, how can we eliminate? Can anyone say how we can eliminate a uh, repetition and uh, repetition of statements in Python? Like in any language you can do that. Uh, Kilesh just taught you in the last last session how to do it. Yes, yes, that's right, Shreyas. That's absolutely right. That is how you can use the power of uh, uh, functions or methods. So to write a function, you just have to write def and then the function name. So what are the what is the actual operation that we do doing here? We are inserting the values into the table, right? So we'll create some, we'll give the function name something like that. We will explicitly write it down. Insert, insert uh, EMP values, okay? So we'll leave it as it is. We'll, so this creates the function, right? So, so I will do a thing, I'll do a thing. So instead of uh, writing it over here, I mean, instead of, uh, we will just comment this out for your uh, later reference. And then I'll be paste, I'll be writing it over here. Okay, def. Um, and then insert EMP values. And then we will be passing the, we'll be passing some uh, parameter over there. So, let me just copy this, copy the statement. Okay. 
So uh, since you're writing a definition, you're defining a definition, you are supposed to use the indentation. That is the four spaces that you have to use. As uh, if you just click on tab, it will insert four spaces in here, okay? So this will insert only one value. One particular value is widget, okay? So you don't want to do that, right? You just have to uh, do something much, you should be much more modular, okay? You have to call this function, you're defining a function, you're defined a function over it, and you have to call a function somewhere outside this definition, and then we have to pass the values into it. So if we pass the values into it, it will be added over here, and then it will, the this SQL statement will be executed, and it will, it will be inserted into the table. So how, how, we, how can we do that? So we'll uh, set something like EMP, then we'll come over here. We'll, we'll do that, we'll do that. Mm. So SQLite has something called as placeholders, okay? So uh, if you see here, this is the first place, uh, first data field. This is the second data field, this is the third data field. So the place, what this, these placeholders do is, and delete all these things. Delete. Okay. I'll delete all these things. Okay. What does this placeholder do? So we use question mark as a placeholder. So we are going to pass the variables over here. We are going to pass this uh parameter inside this and it will be unpacked this parameter contains all the values out of it okay so this acts as a placeholders so whatever we pass from here it will be unpacked and it will be placed in the first one and the second one and the third third placeholder so how to call this uh, function so let us uh, comment this out for a second i'm sorry i'm sorry Uh, okay. Let's comment these out. You can now comment this out for a minute. I'll just show you how this, how to pass the uh, values into the thing. Okay. So EMP, we will create a variable. Okay. We'll create a variable named Vijay. EMP Vijay and that, that 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 is actually a tuple we are creating so uh, just show you how to do it just like how you pass the values over there you can pass like pass inside a tuple and then we'll uh, call the function so how do we call the function we will write down the function the function name and then we are going to pass this tuple this is a tuple like right? tuple is uh, an ordered collection of uh, data structure in in python it will be always be on, in order okay whatever order you pass it in it will be always be in order so that is why i'm using tuple over here so if you pass it like this i'm sorry if you pass it like this so this is assigned with the values and this is uh, this is a function call and we are passing this tuple this tuple contains all these values and this uh, when we call it it goes into here it will this uh, parameter will be assigned with this tuple values these tuple values this, this tuple will be passed here and then it will be unpacked over here okay for each placeholder it will be unpacked for the first question mark it will place the visual that is first name. The, for the second one, it will place Morley. For the third one, it will place the salary. That is the integer. So if you just run it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just an MP column. Mm. Okay. Uh, where did I go wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I see. Sorry. I see, I see. Okay. So the statement actually ends here itself. The statement actually ends here itself. And then you just have to 
pass the uh, parameter like this. Okay, the SQL statement ends here, and then you are passing the Python's uh, tuple or the parameter over here. So if we just run it, you can just see you get the output. You will get the output only because we have commented these out and we are passing only one record into it and then we are printing it out over here. So that is how you get it. So everyone have got that. Please say, those of you who are, who are facing an issue, please say yes and please put it in the comments. That's good, that's good. So similarly, uh, we can add multiple values over here. And we can add like, okay, we can use only this inserts, this definition inside it, it contains the SQL statement to insert the database file. So we can use the same old thing. Can just copy paste it over here and then you can write amp mic okay you can just uh, modify these values uh, so i will just t3000 something so we just have to pass the exact sample okay so if you execute it again, you will be able to see we are passing two different records. That is one is Vijay only and Vijay has a salary of 60,000. So this will call the this function definition. The, the tuple will be passed as a parameter over here. They're passing as, it, as an argument over here and it, it uh, will be assigned to these placeholder it will be unpacked and assigned to these variables so that is how you can do it there, there is many other ways of doing this okay you can even use some other things like okay this is some you can use something like this to assign the values so there are different ways to go about it. okay then there are nobody has any problems i i see only 13 people have responded what about others Please, can you respond if you're facing an issue or not? Okay, someone is facing an issue. Okay, who is that? Sandana GH. Okay, uh, Sandana GH. Uh, can you please uh, put it in the public chat? What What is the issue that you're facing, man? I'm, I'm sorry, the question is if you're Facing any issue, please click on S. So if you're facing an issue, uh, Chandana Ma'am and Prithvi, you can just put it in the chat section. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I've, I do have to be much more explicit of what question I'm posing for the people. Okay. So this is how you can use uh, you know, function definitions. And then let us uh, do something else like, um, so the same way how you uh, use this um, def function definition, you can also put these delete statements and update statements inside the function definitions, okay? So let us do that as well. Let us do that as well. So, so Um, I'm sorry. We'll just remove this. This is not of any use as of now. Uh, okay. We'll write the function definition of update over here. Update EMP values. Okay. Um, so we'll use something the same way, I guess. See what? We'll copy this. Okay. 
okay, we will put an annotation over here and then we will be passing the we will be calling the function over here we will set this and this will be the first placeholder so this will be the first placeholder and this will be the second one and if you just pass the emp take the job and you have to pass it the uh, pass the values the same way same order in the same order uh, that you are using the placeholders okay the first one is the salary right the first one we are setting it to salary and then the second one is the we are checking the criteria or the uh, weight loss so we just have to pass the salary first updated salary monthly salary is 60000 so let's say he has incremented to 64000 okay and then we are passing the criteria the criteria is it is checking for the first name that is the micro he only updates the i'm sorry the monthly's ejs uh salary and then i'm i'm calling the um uh, i'm calling the update fun um, take function update emp if you just see now you will just see now it has been updated to 64000 right here we are passing it to be 60000 and we are updating it to be 64000 so you can also do it for mike as well and you can like however how many other uh, values to be updated as well, as you want the same thing you can do with delete as well so that is how you use functions and pass the values uh to these sql statements so did everyone get that so are there any people who were facing any issues if you are facing an issue please click on us okay i see the no yes okay so that means everyone or cool with it cool 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 okay there are few more people please respond as as quickly as possible So we are running out of time. We will just see few more things. Okay, two more important things. Okay, okay, okay. I think nobody is facing an issue. So one more important thing in relational databases is the the concepts of uh, key constructs. That is primary key and foreign key. The concepts of primary key and foreign key. what is primary key do actually so let us say you have two uh, tables okay two tables that has to be connected what, what does a relational database means it has some relation between the data that it contains right this whatever the data it uh, the database has there will be some kind of relation between the data so here we have only one table we have created only one table let us assume let us create another table and connect those two tables okay so using primary key and foreign key concepts so i'll be what i'll be doing is i'm taking this copying this again then i'll create another table okay so this is one of the important concepts important topics in um, relational databases so let us create a uh, department itself em to the part or something like that the part okay uh, so we are we are creating something like okay for every employee he is associated with a de department okay let's say like a uh, department name and then um designation Then EMP ID. 
something I do. Let us also create one more uh, field over here. So let's type something I do. That that is also the text. You can also use like in real world employee ID might contain letters as well. So we are using text. So let us uh, set these as not null first of all. So um, even not null constraint is um, something like it should not be left empty. Okay, whenever you're inserting the data, the text should not be empty. Okay. So for whatever data fields you're using, you can use not null if if it is mandatory to be inserted, the values to be inserted. So let us create department name field. If it is of the type uh, text, not null. I don't have got what not null means, right? Not null. Oh, sorry. Is there anyone who has not got what what does not null refer to? Okay, um, let, let me just keep. Hey, so region of uh, of the type text. Here you can see, okay, I have created the um, same data field in both the tables, okay. In the day, in the employees table as well, I have a uh, data field called EMP ID, and here also as well as I have a data field known as EMP. How do you connect these two? So to do that, first of all, the base uh, table that we are connecting to should be of the primary key. This particular thing should be of the primary. What does primary key do? Okay, let us say if, if example, for example, your uh, student ID itself, your student ID or your uh, role number itself, it is unique, right? It has unique, you, you, uh, no one has the same role numbers, right? So it has to be always unique. If you try to insert, if you set this to primary key and try to insert something, uh, since it is, uh, we are setting this to primary key, we need not uh, say it, it is to be null, primary key. So what does this primary key do is, you cannot uh, have duplicate data over here inside this field that we are passing right here, passing some data into, into it, right? So it cannot contain duplicate values at all. So for that, for which we have to set it to primary key. So it does not contain any duplicate values at all. So if it if you pass the duplicate values, it uh, shows some error. So how will we do, do it now? So okay, uh, we have set this to be primary key, this particular data field, and then we have to what what you have to do is uh, set this as not null, as well, since it is a primary key, and then we have to be like primary mm, key. Or in key uh, in the ID. Or in key. Or in key. And then we have to pass the EMP ID. Okay. And then inside it, we have to pass it like references. It is referring to which uh, table? This table. Okay. We are making this employee ID as the foreign key, and then we are referring to the this table, okay? Employees table, and then we are using EMP ID again. Employees table, the database, uh, the data field is EMP ID. The column is EMP ID. Column or data field is one and the same, right? So here we have set it to be primary key, and here we have set it to be foreign key. This is EMP ID, and these two tables will be connected to each other. This is how you uh, create relations between two tables in uh, SQL. Okay. So while passing the values, you might uh, also you you should change these values, right? So you have to add another 
another placeholder here and then you have to pass the values to be where you can see like the first one is the first name last name emp id and the salary so the first name last name emp id so we are we supposed to pass uh, since it is a text it should be something like e1 or something so also for the mike tyson e102 or something this is this is like a uh, hard coding way of doing passing the emp ids okay so when you are developing some application it has to be randomly generated or something so that you might not conflict with if, if the existing uh, ids are already that are present in the databases okay i'm just showing you for uh, for this example so we have set the yes to set the primary key and the foreign key here and then we also uh, inserted the another placeholder here to take up this uh, emp id and then we will be inserting this into this particular uh, inserting and also we haven't inserted over here so to do this we will use another to insert into this table we'll be using another definition insert department values okay something like department we can write department and the first one is the department name designation emp id emp id that's all so we'll be using let us let us do it over here department department something like okay department name is mm, department name is back or something back so the department name what does we have here designation so the particular designation of a employee can be something like mm, is the developer is the developer is the dev then uh, what is what is you have emp id right emp id we will be adding we will be adding mm, 101 okay uh, insert department insert department i'm sorry just a minute it's a department department back end we just okay uh, they were already i'm sorry just a second we are passing it to the employee and we i'm sorry Pass it to the employee to create employee dot table employees already exist. Okay. So everyone are able to do it till now, right? I'm just checking what's the available. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. I see something is going on. Okay. Mm. I think I know what's the problem over here. So, uh, in the last session, you just saw how to use uh, with 
uh, keyword in Python, right, to close a file. So like uh, when you're opening a file, you'll use with open and uh, thing. So since it is uh, executing at a time, we are creating two data, uh, two tables at a time, I'm sorry. Two tables, EMP. Okay, I see the problem, I'm sorry. Okay, we just execute it now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not... We'll delete this. We'll delete the uh, already existing database. And then we will create. Okay, it's not the same. Uh -huh. Okay. Not defined. Oh, sorry. Just a minute, just a minute. Mm. Okay, I see what's the problem. I've forgotten these to change these values. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So now this will work. Oh. I have to delete the already existing table. Just two values. Okay, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Since this is this has only three uh, data fields over here, we have to pass only three data fields. And let me just make sure everything is proper now. We have created the uh, table. We are creating the table again. Uh, we are also creating the EMP department table. We are passing the values into it. For the, this uh, first table contains four value, four data fields, so we are passing four values into it. And then we are creating the what is that? Okay, insert department values. That is, we are inserting the values into the EMP department table. And it has only three data fields and with one foreign key constraint. Okay, this will be connected to this table. Okay, and then uh, the, the, these you can just uh, see that later. Okay, this is not required as of now. And then we are passing the values over here. So first of all, we are passing the values for the employees uh, for, to the empo employees table, and then we are again passing the values to the department table. If you just oh okay. Um, so since I told you how to do it, like using in memory itself, we'll do it in memory itself, and then if it works properly, then we will put it into the put it into the database. Okay. Now you can see, right? Okay, this has got Morley Vijay, and then uh, with the constraint over here, and then with with with, uh, with this um, with this EMP ID as well. So let us also see check if this has been inserted or not. This has been inserted or not. So to do that, we will come over here. We will, we will just copy it. We'll just copy these things. We'll just copy it. Okay. So the table which we, we are want to fetch the data from is the uh, I'm sorry, EMP department. Okay. So it puts us all the field. So here you see. So this is the first table which contains these data. And this is the second uh, field that, I mean, second table that contains these uh, data that we passed into it. So these two will be connected to each other. So these two fields will be connected to each other. So if you want to see how these uh, things are connected, you might have to use something called as database schemas, which I don't think, I don't know, like, uh, 